morning guys welcome back to today's video also welcome to a show weekend um uh, we decided to go ahead with the show so he's gonna show this weekend watch this spot go to your spot watch this nope go to your spot penny shoot i did it wrong go to your spot oh man all right show them how penny goes to her spot mmm Sophie you smell nice I love your shampoo Penny go to your spot and then she goes to her spot but she does it normally of course the day I have camera oh there she goes go to your spot Penny so Sam taught them this Penny goes to her spot that is her spot my sweater's on inside out you do know that your horse needs a brush <laughs> she's been rolling and spot number two it's spot number three. Yesterday I told you guys we're not ready for the sh first show of the season at our barn. And that's okay because we have Chance getting his chiropractic and he is rideable. We're just taking it slow with him and taking it easy. We just want to be proactive. Just changing my sweater. It was on backwards. Like Sylvie's not ready for her first show with Chance uh, yet, but our first show of the season has started. It's starting tomorrow. We have like there's a show at our barn, and that's the show series that Sylvie wants to show this year. So last minute, she's like, "Why don't I just show Denver for the first show?" And I was like, "Yeah, that is genius." So Sylvie, are you showing? Yes. Yes, I had trouble putting on my shirt today. I put it on inside. Yeah, out. you always put your sweaters on I inside. I know out. it happens. I'm always just like grabbing them and going. But anyways, welcome to today's video. We also have Cairo for chance, which means that Sophie's back in business. She'll be back in business. I'm excited to see what she says. I absolutely love our chiropractor. I think a lot of the reasons why we have like our chiropractor and our massage girls come is because I just love visiting them. Like it's so fun. I'm excited to hear for her to meet Chance. Our our massage therapist loved him. I'm excited for her to meet him. I'm excited to hear what she says. She's also a vet and she gives me so much information like every time she comes. I love that. I can't wait to see. I can't wait for her to see him. show of the year. So, so exciting. Yeah, All right. Why don't you grab that? Because there's barely anything in the arena. All right. Go, you guys. Go clean up the arena. I'm going to try and get some stuff ready. We're going to help the barn get ready for the show. They've pretty much got it under control. They have it all under control. But we volunteered to like bath horses and stuff because there's a lot of little kids in the show and so we're gonna try and help them do that. All of our bathing stuff is still in the tack trunk. 
So I'm gonna bring my grooming gloves. I know I talk about these things a lot. I honestly don't know how to clean a horse very well without them. In fact, I don't think you can even clean a horse very well without them because the legs are so difficult to clean with the with like regular brushes. But these things are so moldable. You put them on your hands and then it's like having a brush in the shape of your hands and you can touch everything. Like you can get every area of a horse clean with this. Okay, I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I brought to get ready for the horse show. I don't think we're braiding because, yeah, braiding. yeah, because it's like school horses. If it was our own horses, we'd have to braid. But the school horses, I don't think we have to braid. I did bring my, one of our braiding kits though. We got this braiding kit so long ago at the Greenhawk Warehouse sale. Do you guys remember back when we were like, just starting to buy everything we needed for horses? So I have that. It's the one that's on like the rope you put around your waist. I love it. You know what? Yeah, let's braid. So if he's like, let's braid. All right, let's braid your horse. I brought. Oh, why would I braid him if I'm not doing anything with him? I brought my gloves because these are the best way to clean a horse's legs. I brought I hoof polish. We probably won't use that. I brought scissors. I brought some cloths. I brought some. Yep, I brought some wool that are de that's Denver colored. I brought some saddle soap. I brought some stuff to color Sophie's boots. She cleaned them already at home today with this stuff, this Mondega cleaning stuff. She does it at home. She did it at home, she cleaned her boots. But this, it's like you put it on, it makes your boots brand new black again. I brought bug spray. Oh, this stuff, when it dries, it like still makes it look dirty. Oh. It still looks dirty. I've oh. used it before. Oh well. I brought a huge bottle of mane and tail shampoo. Yeah, I need that for Denver. Mm -hmm. We're bathing Denver. Yeah. We brought some small sponge Ooh, sponges. I, got I don't even know what is at the bottom of this thing. A paintbrush. Oh! Look at you guys. He sucked at me. Was that Chance? Yeah. That's how Chance Winnies? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I learned the small little one after. This is the thing that I was looking for the other day. I think I cut it out of the vlog. The other day in a vlog when we were getting ready to go to the show, Sam said we needed thinning shears and these are kind of that for horses. Some more brushes and some shoshin. That's all I brought today for show prep. Wow getting ready for the show. Look how fancy. And they're doing the outside one right now too. I was gonna try this on Chance, but he needs like to be groomed big time first. Gabby took Chino for a walk to eat grass, and I'm gonna help Sophie groom Chance because the first order of today is the chiropractor. It looks so good. I love a big hulky man, and he's not even dirty. You're fat. Anyways, so Gabby was gonna bring Chino and Finn both in, throw them in the arena and let them play. But we decided not to ruin it for the show. <laughs> Which is probably a smart decision. I know you wanna go in there, huh? Gabby, I think you should cut Chance's hair. No. Sophie's like me. Right she doesn't want her hair. She can't even cut it straight. Well, can you cut it straight? No. Can she cut it straighter than you? No. <laughs> I don't know. It's getting really long. I think it should be cut. Chance is like, who? Cut whose hair? Oh my gosh, Gabby does better than Brandon. No. The thing I love about our chiro chiropractor is that she is a vet, so she's actually a vet, and then she's a chiropractor, and I love that about her. She's so knowledgeable, and she teaches, and she also has her own horse, and she teaches us so much about our horses, and I love that about her. But the other thing is she's a really good friend. Like I count her as a really, really close friend and I love her. Like I would trust her with all of our animals' lives. Like she's amazing. Like and I just love talking to her and listening to her and so if our chiropractor like I'll ask her opinion and like we had our vet look at chance, but our chiropractor means her opinion means more to me. Like she gives a more personable side to things if that makes sense and so I'm going to ask her what she thinks about him and his size for Sophie and 
if she thinks he'd be a good match for her and um, I'm gonna show her him moving obviously she always watches our horses move and I'm also gonna show her like video of Sophie riding him and and see what she thinks because she'll be hands-on like doing all the stuff that she does with him and she'll know what he can handle and what he can't handle and so I'm gonna definitely ask her and take her opinion into account look at that's just from his tail and he, Wow you can barely see it but that's a dirty tail all right, Sophie wants Sophie wants us to look at Denver's tail. Oh, it looks cute. It's way more clean than before. Is it is it clean clean though? It's clean. It's as clean as you're gonna get a horse's main tail that is white. Finn's was white white. I, but look at his tail is like a different I color. I didn't brush up here because it's like I like it. It looks good, it. Sophie. See, his mane is a totally different color. This is the p color of his tail, and then he's got these like white spots. We should cut that or cut his bridle path. I want to trim his tail. So no, we can't do it though. It's not our horse. Not our horse. We let Brandon do it. So this is Sophie stuff that she has at the barn, and I never get to see what they have at the barn. Just like stuff. They have their own stuff and I never know like what they have, hey. what they need here. I'm just looking. And she's loving his chiropractic treatment and he has funny expressions. Let's see if he does it again. He stretches his head out. That's a release. He does a lot of like licking and chewing, like a lot of licking and chewing. <laughs> Get those baby teeth. His ears perked forward. He's like, rub my bum. <laughs> he also loves his ears rubbed and his head rubbed. All right, so Chance is done. He is finished. So I asked her so many questions about him. I asked her like, do you think that he'd be suitable for Sophie as he fills in and as he gains weight? And she said, absolutely 1 million percent he can handle her. And, and she said like, remember when you guys got Chino and he was so thin and under muscled and underweight and he just built back up so so well and then she said that he was tight in the back like we thought and she um adjusted really well she said that he was really funny because he's like so funny when he gets massaged <laughs> He enjoys it a lot. I was totally prepared for her to be like, this is not a good horse for her, this is not the right fit, but she wasn't like that at all. And I even told her that. I said like, you know, there are people online that think that he's not a good fit because he's so fine boned. And she said that she doesn't feel like that at all, that he's gonna be completely suitable. And she said he is such a sweetheart. She said she actually has like a thing for thoroughbreds. She loves thoroughbreds. Brandon does too. Brandon yeah. always finds thoroughbreds. And she said that, um, and this is a vet, a professional vet chiropractor that looked at our horse's back and dealt with our horse's back and said that he's lovely and uh, she watched him move and she said he's going to be amazing. They're going to be amazing. And she said good luck with him and I hope it works out with you guys. I hope you get him because he's such a quiet horse. She said he's absolutely for sure on the quiet end. Like he's just quiet. So that made me feel so much better. I asked her advice on like what to do for the saddle and she said, gave me some advice. She's gonna message me some saddle fitters so that we can like work with them before, even before he gains weight if we can find one that will, that will help. And she also said um, that he's going to need like lots of transitions and lots of circles and lots of, oh man, what was that word she said? I gave Denver a minute. What was that thing she said? I gave Denver a minute and now he wants more minutes. Something about bend. Um, switch bending? Or yeah, like you have to like, you have to keep changing bending. Go like a figure eight and then change the bend. Changing the bend. She said changing the bend is gonna be a big thing to keep him in alignment and to help him like grow the muscles and stuff. She wants us to do a lot of figure eight and circles and changing the bend. So that's what she said. And she, I'm actually not shocked because I know he's such a nice boy and he's so calm and he's so quiet. And I asked her like, are sensitive thoroughbreds more common than thoroughbreds like Chance? And she said, no, there are definitely some sensitive thoroughbreds, but not all of them by any means. And she said like, there are just as many quiet thoroughbreds as there are sensitive thoroughbreds. That was the word that she used. And so, <sighs> everything's looking good. Didn't even get his butt. 
I did his butt. I did this whole section of his butt. <laughs> it is hard to bath big horses. You need your face washed. You want me to do it? But he's getting clean. Look at that tail. He actually loves it though. He loves the bath. I just washed his nostrils. And he's like, thank you for washing my nostrils. They've been dirty. <laughs> he's so funny. So this is the horse stuff he's going to show in the show. And so he's just getting cleaned, rinsed, washed. And then he's going to stay inside. Here, Gabby. And then I'm going to hold the horse. And Gabby and Sophie are actually, look at how cute his mane looks and his tail. God, Sophia's holding the next horse. She's oh, okay. watching. All right. Sophie and I are watching another horse. So we volunteered to like help them, the coaches, because a lot of these horses are being shown by little kids. We're just gonna sweat scrape him, and then he's going in. I'm really bad. He's going in the stall. He's like, save me, Gabby. They've been washing me. <laughs> Chiropractor was saying like, thoroughbreds are so athletic that even if they like are tight in the back, they can still always find a way to just move well. Does he look like he's moving different? I do see it. It looks like he's moving in the back end, taking bigger steps, moving more fluid. We volunteered to help. And Brandon says, yeah, you can, you can bathe Polly for me. And I'm like, sure, no problem. And then Gabby says, did you choose who we bathed? And I'm like, no, they, he gave me the horse. So I'm guessing there's a reason for it because this ginormous horse has a lot of body and a lot of stains. Not to mention it's gray, Gabby says. That was wild, you guys, but I think we did it. So her legs are natural. Her na legs are naturally gray. Like if you're thinking that her legs are dirty, they're still a little bit dirty, I think. And I can see some dirt on her belly, actually. I got mane all over you. She's clean. Not really. <laughs> she's as clean as she's gonna get, though. So she's got black skin. Uh oh. He's yeah so anyway she needs like a good brush now but i think we did a pretty good job i mean the legs <laughs> the legs we washed everything like i said i'm certain that we were given polly on purpose <laughs> well played brandon well played anyway we're headed home now thank goodness because oh we got a lot to do Denver definitely looks the best. We'll be back in the morning, okay? Stay clean. <laughs> He's like, why do I have to stay in? We literally have been at this barn the whole entire day. We're ready to go home. I'm tired. I'm so happy with how the chiropractor turned out. She's like super strict and always tells me what she thinks and she always tells it like it is. And she loved him. She thought he was perfect. She thinks he's gonna be perfect. So, man, I'm happy. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the